So you own 5.1% of Bob Evans Farms. I know you sent a letter to the board yesterday. What was in the letter? Well, uh, we announced our plan to unlock values for shareholders. Uh, we've been a shareholder of Bob Evans for quite some time. And uh, we see significant value in the company. These are great assets, great collection of assets. However, the, the management haven't really performed well. They have underperformed their peer group by 150% over the past five years and 40% over, underperformed by 40% versus their peer over the past three years. So we see significant value in this business. These are great assets. It has a conglomerate structure. It has two business lines. It's a family-style restaurant chain called Bob Evans restaurants, there is BF Foods, the packaged foods business. There's no synergies between these two businesses whatsoever. Only 5% of the sales from BEF Foods goes into the restaurants. So the fact is that there's a lot of value here. They also have, um, they own 86% of the restaurants. Uh, that they operate. Bob Evans has 560 restaurants. Which I should say are mostly East Coast and sort of leaning a little bit past the Mississippi, but mostly they're East Coast, and anyone who has taken a road trip, Tom, knows them well. Yeah, they've done a, they've done a very nice job with their farm fresh, refresh, remodeling program. They spend $225,000 per restaurant to modernize them, and it helps to drive traffic. Right now, same store sales for the new restaurants is 3.7%. On an annualized basis. However, the other restaurants that haven't been finished up uh, the remodeling have zero growth. So, I mean, these are great properties. However, we see a lot of value. And we would like to see the company monetize uh, these assets to do a sale leaseback of the real estate that they own. We have about $800 million in value and spin off BEF foods directly to shareholders. So That's these are between... some of the components. But just to kind of backtrack, Tom, and let people know how you think about things and how you build positions. I mean, how long did it take you to do the analysis and how long did it take you as an activist investor, as a merger arm specialist to say, okay, this is where the holes are. Here's where I think the board can be doing a better job. Well, I mean, this is very obvious. Uh, if, if you look at the, the restaurant sector, all of their peers either has a franchising model or they've done sale leasebacks. So looking at... So the, these guys are the only ones not... Kind of measuring yeah, in they're that underperforming way. the peers by 150 yeah, percent in the stock market, right? That's very significant. And we tend to look at companies that have not performed well, that have great assets and good businesses. These are good businesses. So, have you heard back from the board since you sent the letter? Uh, we got a, a, a letter, um, you know, just a few minutes ago, saying that they are oh, you know, welcoming news. shareholders to, you know, communicate with them. So that's. Uh, that's, uh, that's very, you know, good to hear. Because I know from your track record, Tom, and obviously numbers-wise is very impressive, I know you don't look for fights, you don't look for proxy fights, but I do know, for example, when you had a position in Heinz a few years ago, it did come to that, and so obviously when you feel that it's necessary, you go in that direction, but at least you did hear back from the board, so it seems like they're at least open to a dialogue. Yeah, we prefer to have a cordial dialogue with the companies that we're invested in, and the fact is that we are a little bit, you know, surprised also by the fact that the board extended uh, the chief executive Steve Davis's employment contract by four years just a couple of months ago. A four-year extension and underperforming significantly is a little bit of a surprise to us. We'd like to see also that the company would separate the CEO and chairman role because now the chairman is Because that CEO happens a lot now, right? I mean, especially on Wall Street, there's been a lot of discussion, but for numerous companies, separating those two roles has almost become, let's just say, almost standard as far as corporate governance goes. Absolutely. I think it's critical. Well, and as you say, too, if they're underperforming by 150%, then maybe you do question that person's leadership. So essentially, just to go back to the point you're saying, okay, listen, there's substantial real estate assets and the value of which is not being appreciated, and then separate out the food business and make some money right. there. With that, you're going to end up with over a billion dollars in cash, and we'd like them to take 75% of those proceeds and do a stock buyback, a, a, a self-tender offer 
uh, you know, above current market prices and buy back stock to 70% of the assets, $800 million, uh, and we will get values up to $84 per share in this company. Um, another thing about also, also in about the management is that, yes, you know, we, we, we feel there's a great collection of assets here, but they also completely failed turning around Mimi's Cafe. Uh, it's a restaurant chain that they bought in 2004. They paid $185 million for it, and they sold it this year for $50 million. So they lost $135 million. Yeah, that's uh, uh, on the this, opposite uh, of what you're supposed yeah, to do. So what about how many share? Because I'm pulling up some stats here as well, and it seems like 86% of the stock is actually owned by the company. Is that true? No, I'm sorry. 85, 86% of the restaurants are it's owned. owned by the yes, okay. the rest is leased. So, okay. so you know, in order to create values, really do what the peers have done: do a sale, lease back. When you own the, these restaurants, you can sell them, you lease them back, and with that, you'll get uh, about 750 million dollars in cash back. Tom, before we let you go, what is the timetable? What do you expect? What are you hoping for? What makes sense as far as your calculations go? Well, you know, I think th these are great assets, and, you know, if the management does the right thing here, I mean, everybody can be a winner. Right. And how, long, how kind of speedy does it have to be? A few months? Are we talking months? Are we talking weeks? Well, or you well, can't you know, really we'll, have, we'll wait and see what happens. Okay.